So in this video, I want to talk about how to make a custom block that will draw any polygon shape. Doesn't matter how many sides, if we tell it to draw a four-sided figure, it's going to draw a square, or a three-sided figure, it's going to draw a triangle. This works for equilateral polygons. Um, so one pattern that we notice is for the repeat, which is the number of sides, and the turn, which is the number of degrees, if you multiply those two numbers together, you will always get 360 degrees. 4 times 90 is 360, 3 times 120 is 360, 5 times 72 is 360. So if we don't know the turn angle, which 72 is not a very intuitive turn angle, and actually neither is 120. A lot of people start out thinking this is 60, myself included, and then realize that that's not right and have to figure it out. Um, you can do 360 divided by the number of sides to get the angle that you want for your polygon. And we can use that information to help us um, uh, create a block where we can say, I want a five-sided figure of this size, and it will calculate the turn angle for us. doesn't need to use the size to calculate it, but we can give it that information in the, in the block. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go back to my um, more clear thing. And by the way, you can right click and clean up your code anytime if you like things nice and neat. Um, come on. There we go. Clean up. Um, it'll line it up sideways. It doesn't always do it exactly how I want, so sometimes I have to redo it. Okay. So I'm going to make a block. I'm going to call it draw. And then I'm going to use the the words to help me to help me help the user understand what to put where. So I'm going to put a number input. I'm going to call this sides. And then I am going to There we go. Add a text and say draw sides sided polygon size and then I'll do length again like last time. So then when the um, when the user is reading this it makes sense. They're not going to see sides and they're not going to see length, but they will see two inputs. Okay, so if you look at this block here, this is what the user will see. Draw something, sided polygon, size something. So it makes a lot more sense than if you say draw polygon, input, input. So a lot, I see this a lot. Draw polygon, and then I need, I know I need two inputs. I'm going to do this. I'm going to call this sides. I'm going to call this length. And then when I pull this out, I don't, I don't know what my inputs are. So I have to be the coder to understand which is which, like what are these anyway? And then if you know that they're sides and length, which is which, which goes where, who knows? Okay. So, that is just a little tip. Make sure that your final block is understandable to the person who's going to use it, not just to you as a coder. All right, so let's get rid of that. Bye-bye polygon. So to define my code, it's going to be almost exactly the same as the square. So I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, are you going to let me? Oh, it's not going to let me duplicate. Let's see if I can do this. Uh-uh. It's not letting me duplicate. All right. I will just pull these blocks out real quick. So we need a move and we need a turn. There we go. All right. So just like before, the length goes in move. That's what controls the size of our polygon, the length of each side, each straight side. The repeat we talked about, come on, there we go, is, oh, and you don't have to delete that. I'm in the habit of that but you don't have to. The repeat is the number of sides and the turn is that, that pattern that we talked about earlier in this video, which is 
360 divided by the number of sides. So to get the divided by, it's under operators. This is the a division. We can just type in 360 in the first space, and then the number of sides is going to go in the second space. And now, if I type in draw a five-sided polygon size, I don't know, 20, it's probably going to be kind of small. Oh, very small. Oh, I didn't do pen down. Here we go. Pen down, pen up. Okay, let's try that again. There it is, five-sided figure. Let's do a eight-sided figure size 50. It's going to be pretty big. There we go. Eight sides, pretty big. So you'll notice that as the number of sides gets bigger, let's try like a 15 and let's make this smaller. As the number of sides gets bigger, the shape looks more and more like a circle. And really a circle can be defined as a shape with infinite sides. So that's kind of an interesting way to think about a circle. If I do 360 sides, it's going to be turning one degree in between each side. And we probably better go pretty small because it's going to be gigantic. And the more sides you have, the longer it takes to draw. Uh-oh, it's going off the edge. All right, there we go. And there's a real nice circle. And that's only size two, so each side is two units in length. So um, I've found that 15 is usually pretty good. It depends on how big your circle is. Um, let me go ahead and clear. 20 is usually a pretty good circle. Um, so you can play around with that. Just the more, more sides, the more circly it is. Um, I wanted to show you a couple things that you can do for um, if you're if you feel like you like to explore on your own, you might want to stop watching right now because I'm going to show you a couple ideas of how you can make kind of more of a custom shape. So you can I'll go ahead and duplicate this. No, let me duplicate. It does not let me duplicate. Um, you can use the repeat, move, and turn idea and play around with these numbers and get some really interesting shapes. So like for example this one, something like that, just getting like you can make the um, turn angle different to get like more spiky kind of shapes um, and you don't have to worry about the repeat and the turn multiplying to 360 because it's just not it won't do that, but you there are ways to um, make sure that it ends up in the same place again, and I'm going to let you think about that. Um, you can also use your polygon and put it in another repeat and use another turn to make other shapes. So let me just do like a, I guess a pentagon. We'll make it a little bigger and let's repeat. So if I'm repeating 10, I still want to follow the rule on this kind of thing. I want to follow, if I want it to be symmetrical, I want to follow the rule of repeat times turn is 360. So this must be 36 degrees. I'll go ahead and clear. And there I can get an interesting shape that is made up of 10 polygons. If I wanted to make it a little bit different, let me do like, uh, what's an easy one? Let's do, okay, well that's too many. Let's do uh, six and 60. And there's another little shape. Some of them can look pretty flowery. I could I could do the same idea, but just do a square. Anyway, so you can use that idea, either of the, these ideas or a combination of these ideas. And I want you to make um, something interesting of your own design, something creative that you have made with code.